Hi there, my name is Mark, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how I customize my terminal in Mac OS. Now I'm not using the bundled terminal, in fact, I'm using iTerm2. I'll show you how to download and drag and drop install that so that we can get started on the customizations. I'm gonna share with you my favorite font, Yosevka, which I'm gonna be using in the terminal. Now we're also gonna upgrade the color theme using my favorite color palette, Nude. In addition to our terminal, we're gonna need a shell, and I have chosen chosen to use fish for its brilliant auto completion and ease of use to theme. So let's get into the terminal and start customizing. So we are currently in the stock terminal on Mac OS, but I want to head over to iterm2.com where I can go to downloads and grab that latest stable release, which is now in my downloads folder. Going into finder where I can drag and drop that into my applications, iterm2 is now installed and when we open it up, it looks like the default terminal. So we're gonna start making some customizations. Heading up to the menu bar, we're gonna to go to iTerm2 and selecting settings. Of course, we can also use the shortcut command comma to access these. We're gonna to go to profiles and we're gonna focus on colors. So we're gonna hit the colors tab and navigate down to the bottom there to color presets. Now, the theme that I want is not there. So I'm gonna head over to nudetheme.com, go to ports, scroll down to the first row, grab iTerm2, whoops, not here. But luckily, there is a repository over on GitHub. Now, there is a specific file that we're interested in. I just want to show you where it is located. It is down source code, uh, XML, and there is that new.iterms color file that we need. It's just easy to download the latest release, scrolling down to the bottom of the page and grabbing that zip file, which will automatically unzip, decompress. So let's go into the terminal just again to verify that we have that file that we're looking for. Heading back into iTerm, we are going to go to color presets and import the nude theme. It's as easy as navigating through the directory path, selecting that nude.iterm color file, and then selecting nude from the color presets, and nude theme is now installed. Fantastic. Let's hit the text tab as we are now gonna focus on updating our font. Now, in order to do this, I'm gonna be making use of Homebrew, and if you don't have this installed already, it is a copy paste of a bash script that you're going to execute in your terminal. Now, you can see I already have Homebrew installed, but if you don't, just paste in the script and it will install for you. Now, the font I want is Yosevka. It is absolutely beautiful, so we're gonna to need to change the tap on Brew Let's paste that in after clear. We are now in the cast fonts uh, tap. And now we can go ahead and brew install font Yosevka. And this is gonna go ahead and download that font and install it for us. And super quick, we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and clear the terminal. And we can now get back into our preferences, head over to the text tab, and now we can select the Yosevka font and look at that small change to this beautiful terminal font. It is now time to install my favorite shell, Fish. It is really easy to install using Homebrew. We're just gonna pass brew install fish into the terminal that is gonna go ahead and fetch and install fish for us. We can now go ahead and clear the terminal and let's fire up fish by typing fish. We are now in the fish shell. And if you see, right away I get this auto completion for LS, for example. I get some beautiful colors for files and directories. Let's clear the screen and exit fish. Now, I wanna be able to enter fish automatically. I don't wanna to have to type it in each time I fire up the terminal. So I'm gonna head into my preferences, and this is under the general tab, and I'm going to select custom shell, and I wanna provide it the path user local bin fish, or wherever you have fish installed. Now I can go ahead and see the default terminal. No colors, uh, no information here. In fact, I've just changed into a new project directory. It doesn't tell me that it is a Git repository unless I list all the files. So what I want to be able to do now is fire up fish. And now you see, I get a little bit more information. I can see that I'm on the main branch of this Git repository. So that's one of the reasons why I like fish as my shell. 
Now I'm gonna head over to Frequently Asked Questions because we're going to add some customizations here. And to do this, I'm gonna go right down to the bottom of the page and click on Oh My Fish. This is a framework that allows us to install packages that's going to extend the look and feel of fish. And this is a quick copy and paste installation into the terminal. And this is going to install Oh My Fish. And now you see, we get a little bit more color here and we can see that I'm on the main branch of this repository and there's a little X there. And that indicates to me that this Git repository is not up to date. In fact, I can see that I have a deleted and modified file. So let's go ahead and stage these. And now we are going to commit those staged files and hopefully we'll see that little X go away. So let's provide a comment here, uh, some important line addition. Great. And now we can see the little X is gone, which means my repository is up to date. Now I'd like this to have a little bit more visual to it a little more eye candy. So in order to do this, we're gonna scroll down a little bit more on the Oh My Fish repository, all the way down to where we can see preview available themes. And it is here where I'm going to search for Bob the Fish. And this is my theme of choice for Oh My Fish that I'm using in the fish cell. And I'm just going to pass the Oh My Fish install command here with the theme Bob the Fish. And that is gonna go ahead and look at this. It is, now I have this beautiful theme. I get a lot more visualization here. I can see that I am in a branch that is up to date in my GitHub repository. I just vimmed into this, deleted a line, and look at that, boom, visualization. I am now in a Git repository that has some things that need to be committed. Now, let me just go ahead and navigate to my fish config file. That is under .config under my home directory. Uh, so let's vim into my config.fish and I'm going to add set a global theme color scheme and Bob the fish comes with the nude color scheme so I've gave it that parameter of nude let's right quit this and uh, let's exit out of fish and get back in and look at that we get this soothing red for the nude theme so let's go ahead and clear that out now I want to make one small addition here to my Yosevka font. I want to use a nerd font for Yosevka. And this is going to give me access to some beautiful icons in the terminal. So I can see that Yosevka does have a nerd font available. So we're gonna go ahead and install that now. Getting back into the terminal, we are going to brew install font Yosevka nerd font. This is gonna go ahead and fetch that Yosevka nerd font for us and install it. Notice that I had some auto completion there because I had typed it earlier. Super fantastic, I love this shell called fish. All right, the font is now installed. Let's go ahead and clear the terminal. Uh, and let's go ahead and exit out of fish here and get back in. Ah, I forgot to go into the preferences of terminal. So let's command comma into preferences and go over to profiles into text and we will now select the Yosevka nerd font instead and then I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Now I am going to get into my fish config again. So I'm gonna vim config.fish and I think this is on by default, but just in case it's not, I'm gonna set the global theme nerd fonts to yes. So if there is a nerd font, we wanna be able to use it. Uh, so let's go ahead and write and quit this, exit and let's get back into fish. And look at this, we get these beautiful icons here uh, and indicating that we are in a Git repository that has been edited. Let's go ahead and see that there is a file that was modified. Now let's see what happens if we go ahead and stage those changes, it updates to yellow, we get these beautiful little icons. And now let's go ahead and commit that uh, change which I believe we removed uh, some line. So let's go remove the line and now we are green and our GitHub repository is clean and up to date. So there's a quick look at how I style my terminal. My name is Mark and thank you for watching.